Living in Los Angeles as I do, you can't avoid lengthy commutes. And with lengthy commutes comes lots of opportunities to see billboards. Oh, we got lots of them, of all sizes, pitching everything from auto loop centers to Hollywood blockbusters. Yes, even some funeral homes and cemeteries use this tried and true medium, which as it turns out is a great vehicle, no pun intended, for local advertising. After all, done right, billboards can stand out. If you're stuck in traffic, you're a captive audience. They're a great reminder medium supporting other marketing efforts, and they can be located strategically even across the street from a competitor. Outdoor advertising, which includes billboards, bus benches, bus sides, bus shelters, subway panels, and even entire sides of buildings, can be hugely effective if the creative is done correctly. But that's the rub, because there's just a whole lot of outdoor that sucks, and the marketers don't even know it. Their messages are practically invisible, even if positioned at the best intersections of the city. Yet, doing it right isn't all that difficult as long as one follows some basic guidelines. So here are a few pointers that can lead to much more effective outdoor advertising. Interestingly, the same pointers also apply to just about any medium that's either small or a quick read, such as online banners, yellow page ads, t-shirts, even obituary ads. To start with, respect the medium. It's only big when you're standing right next to it, but in your car, it's barely the size of your own thumb when it's held out at arm's length. And at 45 to 65 miles an hour, it's only in view for about five seconds. So, a good way to test your billboard is to print it out on a sheet of paper and stand far enough away so that your thumb can block it out. And then look at it for only five seconds. If you can't read the message for that tiny amount of time, redesign the artwork so you can. That's your litmus test. Focus on one single simple message. Don't make the viewer have to work for it. Have one thing you want to say, say it well, say it quickly, say it simply. And the same goes for any photo or artwork you use. If someone has to figure out the picture in just the few seconds they have, it's a lost cause. At the same time, don't bury your product or your brand. When all's said and done, people have to know who or what's being advertised. And I've seen plenty of boards that only after I've driven past them a number of times do I know who's the sponsor. If your brand isn't Coke or Target or McDonald's, make the logo or your product a major element. And finally, as I said, billboards are a great reminder medium. They're also a great branding medium. But unless you have a really simple vanity phone number or a super simple memorable URL, don't rely on your billboards to generate immediate action if someone has to write down a number or a website while they're driving. For inspiration, as you're creating your own outdoor billboards, Google Great Billboards, click on the Images tab, but only look at the boards in thumbnail view. In the end, the old KISS rule applies. Keep it simple, but also don't forget to make it powerful too.